Okay. So we're doing a coaching session for Plat 5 for the Soraka. It's Siva, Soraka into Lucian, Sona. So basically, it looks like straight away that the Soraka lane has a much better push-in sieging comp than the Lucian, Sona. Lucian will be looking for opportunities to do a burst engage onto either the Siva or to the Soraka, depending if the Soraka ever extends or not. Um, there's Exhaust on the Lucian side and Barrier Heal on the Siva side, so looks like it's going to be a real struggle for both teams to get a kill on bot side, which is a good thing for the Siva comp, because the Siva scales pretty nicely into later into the game, whereas the Lucian doesn't really as much. Um, who's their junglers? You've got Graves on the Sona side, Kha'Zix. So they're, they're both similar champions, really. Both quite high da damage. Um, so yeah, I think... Soraka Siva should win just from lane harassment and honesty. Um, I don't really see much kill potential coming from the Lucian lane. Lucian works much better with a, with a CC to pin them down. Sona doesn't really provide that. Um, but okay, let's see what happens. Uh, got Doran's shield on. Actually, another good thing I just noticed was that the Lucian has a Doran's blade instead of a Doran's shield, so he won't be able to mitigate the ricochets from from the Siva W. Planning for Jangler. Going the safe way around. Good, good, good. Alright, you want to land as many Starfalls as you can. That's a good one. You can look for auto attack harassments maybe on a solution as well. He's kind of overextended there. Your AD took a lot of damage there. You're probably going to have to just take W level 2. Be careful in the minion wave situation. You guys are not going to get level 2 first. You need to be very careful. Good stuff all. Just make sure you get level 2. Okay, good. I'll take heal here. What did you take? You go E. I think that's a little bit too greedy. Um, you just need to out-sustain them. And Sivir is incredibly low. I think you need to just heal her up. You've got potions, whereas she hasn't as well. Yeah, this is also something that's good. This, yeah. You have to kind of take heal there on Soraka. I know usually most of the time you want to go silence, but if your AD carries that low already... I mean, Sivir's already going Oom. So she, uh, sorry, the Son is already nearly going Oom, so she's not going to be able to do much harassment now onto the Sivir anyway. I think it's much more important to make sure your uh, AD carry is topped up. Yeah, this could have been prevented. Also, I want to go back. Was your silence ready as well? No. It wasn't. Yeah. I know it, I know most people go um, silence second just for the extra DPS, but if your AD carry is just that low down, it's just not worth it. Just top up your AD carry and then you 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 would have you would have won this lane this first part of the laning phase pretty easily actually if you had just taken heal, healed up your AD carry a bit. You had you may have to use one or two both your potions. But Sona goes oom extremely quickly. Um so Sona would have been just been walking around in lane um with you know very little mana harassment. Um so yeah, so you should should definitely be taking that heal on that second level. And I th yes it sucks that it's difficult to call out so much but it's literally the only way that they win is by the Lucian playing aggressively like that. Because there's no CC to get caught out by, it's just the pure damage from Lucian. You could even, um, if you were to take silence though, you would probably have to, like at level 2 and your AD carries that low, you need to use it as, in a defensive manner rather than wasting a cooldown on, on the offensive though, as well though, so yeah. Staying lane here is fine. The enemy should be pushing this in and then not. You just want to try and keep this wave frozen here as quickly as, as much as best as possible and you want to keep the enemy here so that you might get a chance to kill them when Siva comes back down. Although this is a massive wave now. You can't do anything about that. 
it might be worth running up to here and doing a Q starfall in this bush there. I know they're recalling there, but you don't know that because you've got no ward that in this bush. But it would have been worth being able to run up to like here, do a starfall in this Q brush just to see if you could interrupt a recall as well. I think you should stay and help push in this wave. Or, or it depends. If Siva's going to freeze, and it's okay. Looks like she's freezing it. If Siva was going to start pushing this in, you would have to stay and help push in this next wave. So you're going to be playing on the back foot. Lucian now has a vamp scepter as well, so he's going to be regening a lot more on lane right now. You guys are just going to be playing on the back foot. Yeah, straight away flash, that's all you can do. You could have probably barred earlier, just to prevent some of the damage coming through as well. You're just going to have to play super on the back foot now. Once, once we've, already, we've already said that they've got no CC, so you're only going to get caught out by Lucian dashing in. Just try and land as many Starfalls as you can just to get your health back up. And try not to give away any more kills. I don't think you should be recalling here, if that's what you actually do. Wait, you actually recalled. For a Frost Fang? That's not worth it. That's not worth it at all. You're going to lose even more lane pressure now. Never ever recall just to finish your GP5 when you're being pushed in like this. With the... No, 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 no. You just lost a lot of XP there as well. Yeah, Lucian dashes in here. I want to see... I think what would be better is that you just save your E for when Lucian does inevitably charge in because it is literally the only way that you're going to die or Sivir's going to die. So you just save it for when he charges in, then you silence him and then he can't... Um, if he goes in, he might get rooted, uh, and also it means he won't be able to do his Q as well, or his W. Takes out a lot of the damage out from him. Alright, so now the cards is coming up. You can't actually get in at all here. There's no way for you to get in. A little bit of jungle tax there. I can see how it's tempting to do that though, like the E and then the Q on the uh, on Asana, but it, I don't think it's worth it. Yeah, I know you kind of want stacks as well, but just try and get your GP5 stacks from Q. Alright, so that right now you've got a Kha'Zix in between your lane, and he now he's dead. You've got your barrier coming up soon. Siv has got heal and ulti, but she hasn't got much mana. Sona has no ulti yet. You kind of just want to auto attack this wave. And try and clear it out. Um, don't go away from your tower. That's a big no-no. Just let them kill this. You're going to get XP. You had your cast in coming through and Kha'Zix was more than, helpful, more than enough to go through there. You, at this point, like what you should be doing, because Lucian was 100% going to die there, right? So you and Siva need to be pushing in this lane as quickly as possible, so to make sure he Lucian loses as much XP as possible when he gets back into lane. Because right now, the, all of these minions would have been killed, and you guys, you two would have been up here at this point. And you can set, get ready to set up here to then push in this wave. This next wave needs pushing in. I don't know why you're recalling. Yusuf is asking you to stay as well. This wave should be pushed in. Otherwise it's really awkwardly frozen because you've got more minions on this side of the map than them. Use everything. Push it, push it, push it. Right, now recall. You recall now. You 
got a normal mantle. Is it you going with things on Holy Grail first? Okay. No control ward though. You should have prioritized getting a control ward over one of his fairy charms. <clears throat> Definitely. Especially with the amount of times Graves has already kind of been bought already. I, I didn't realize, but you did take the kill from the Lucian here as well, which is kind of bad as well, but whatever. Okay, now you're six. Looks like there's something going on top side. Have a quick glance. Yeah, you're going to have to have make sure you got an eye on that top side as well. Okay, nice. Good check F1. I would tell your Kaz, your your Kazix to not come down. To be honest, you haven't got a control ward, so this isn't cleared out properly at all. I think I think you just tell your team to go back here, yeah? or or you bait for a dive. I mean, now they know that Kasten's here now. Wait, 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 wait! I need to watch everything that you're doing. When does your silence come out? I need to put this in slow mo. Right, as soon as you see that hear that shark come out, yeah, you need to silence, and that's what you did. That's good. I would have preferred the silence probably slightly up here though, because Fizz is just gonna um like walk out and then use his E. It's not covering the Fizz as much because if the Fizz can get absolutely like silenced the entire time here, so you can't escape, that would be super amazing. Um, yeah, it's a shame that that silence isn't slightly above, but I mean, the fact that you did it is good instinct anyway. Priority is just to get the, um, keep the sieve up here. I think that ult is too early. That ult is, is, is really, really early from you. Like, I don't think Kastin received any of that heal either. Man, this has got really messy. Yeah, and you're all stacked up for the um, for Sonner as well. That was actually a really nice Sonner out since you're all stacked up so much there together there. Bit of a random barrier coming out there. You just have to keep trying to peel here. Yeah, that's a massive team fight you guys just lost. Um, I think if your silence was slightly higher up here, Fizz would have probably have actually would, would have died, but it would have been a close call anyway. You altered too early. Like, the Sivir wasn't at risk of dying. Like, at, when she was here, there was no risk of her dying. Especially with the Ignite, your heal wouldn't have done much anyway. Uh, would, would it be nice to have that heal for a little bit later on in that fight? But I don't think having even that, I don't think would have turned the fight. In all honesty. Yeah, you guys just need to get out of here. You're not going to better defend that tower from dying. You should be spam pinging your Kha'Zix to get back. Who knows, but that, that team fight may have been a bit different if we had a control ward here to, to make sure they didn't have vision here. Give them slightly less warning that Kassadin was going to blink in as well. They had a bit of overstay here. This is a lot of overstay. You're hanging back a little bit too far. I know you're worried, but... <laughs> Yeah, let me just rewind. Are you spam healing here? Are you take minion aggro as well. It's kind of unlucky. It's a smart play here from, um, from Lucian. I think if you were tighter to your team, though... I don't... Um, just thinking, because you would be positioned around about here anyway. And Lucian could just E dash anyway. I think you're dead here anyway. I think that's just unlucky. 
I think it's just a really smart play by Lucian, and just, you're, you're just unlucky there, really. I think I would have done the same walked up with your team there as well. That's just kind of unlucky. I think you should prioritize on upgrading your boots rather than going for the chalice as well, if possible. Having the extra movement speed of Soraka is pretty important. I would probably go CDR boots or um, Ninja Tabby. You have a control ward. Held roam there, didn't really do a lot. You finally completed your quest. Right, so you... It's a shame I can't see the dragon timers. Is there no way to see dragon timers? I'm not sure. Not sure when this dragon's coming up. It's another cloud drake. Um, you want to have uh, more appropriate vision of where the easiest things to take are, though. Like, there's no, there's no herald. There's no, there's no dragon right now. The easiest thing for the enemy te team to take is either the tier one top or the tier one mid, and they've grouped up mid. You need to be having better wards. Really, like this control should be placed. You haven't placed a control ward yet. If I were you, I'd have placed one. E Probably in this pixel brush would have been quite nice, or um, this brush here as a slightly more defensive one would have been nice. Just, the, 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 you're kind of like off on the map here, it's not really like great what you're doing here. You're wasting a lot of time doing nothing. You could put one at a control in one of these side brushes now actually to help push in here if that's what your team wants to do. I think you've got decent pushing potential. Their mid lane is a uh, melee. The only one who can really wave clear properly there is the Graves and it's Aura, a Lucian ulti. So I think you guys can siege in quite nicely there. Not a lot you can do. I would like to see like try and go and do a little bit more star falls though, just for some goal generation. I know you might be a little bit scared of the fizz ulti, but I mean it's max range fizz ult. at this sort of level. You should be able to just sidestep it most of the time. There isn't a whole lot going on right now. Yeah, the this okay. Against a um, Fizz, I don't, it wouldn't have helped anyway. I'm not sure what's going on over here though, because you've got no ward charges, and I'm not sure why you're going over into this direction anyway. They obviously see the Civic getting caught straight away. But time to W there. Yeah, she didn't get healed there. I mean, Siva had heal herself, but you didn't heal the um, the Siva there. Right, you need to um, keep following up this. Don't be too scared, because Fizz has already used everything. You need to be chasing this down with Starfall. I think Nasana would have died there if you just chased up with Starfall, to be honest. Yeah. You need to be a little bit more involved here with Qs. Mm. It's like you're really scared of playing on Soraka. It's like um, you're playing like quite passively. You haven't got your ulti yet. Kazix was kind of inting that. You just have to give up this tower now. You've got no HP. Just go recall and go back. I mean, there's only been a couple of minor mistakes, to be honest. It's been... This is the kind of the downside of playing Soraka is that you're literally playing for lane. But I think that level two where you didn't have heal and you had science instead was kind of detrimental to what happened to bot lane, to be honest. It's not a laning phase that you should have lost, to be honest. Yeah, sure, Siva could have played a bit better, but I think having that heal would have been like awesome level two. Because of the the lack of starfalls that you've been doing as well, it seems that you're that that's the kind of general player you are. I don't think Athens and Holy Grail will benefit you much. Um, I think you'd be better off going, like Redemption or even Ardent Sensor for the Silver if she was doing better. 
I don't rate Unholy Grail as much on Soraka as on Nami. On well, Nami it's awesome, but on Soraka it's like, unless you're actually getting ahead and being able to be super like cheeky with your Qs. So yeah. It feels like there's been a lot of wasted time from you running around on the map. It's like, if we're finally getting some decent, better wards in. Shame that stuff I'll miss. You got silence? Wait, 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 wait. When was silence used? Oof. Yeah, I think at 17, 18 minutes into the game, you gotta stop using your silence as like a poke, damage poke. You gotta save it for more crucial things. Um, like, yeah, the Sokka's way too greedy going for this. Like, definitely she, she should die here. It's a shame you missed your Starfall. Like, here, though, if you had your silence here, though, she wouldn't be able to flash away. Yeah, she's... Does she get to walk away? Oh, my God, she does actually get to walk away. Kasten should get the kill here, though. Wow. But, yeah, it's just weird stuff like that, like... Silence just needs to be used better rather than as in like a poking tool. It needs to be used in crucial situations because it is a massive cooldown. Let's say what, 20 second cooldown. It's got to be treated like a mini ult sometimes. You're dead here. Maybe not. I think you should have died there. You need to help assist. Right, you're probably looking to E you got to E as many targets as you can here. They're probably chasing up here. I think you have to put... If they, I think you should be standing like here. Especially since you've got your flash up. And then your silence should be here. And it should be blocking their way through. There should be a silence here. Also a silence Lucian as well. Yeah, I think just playing a little bit too scared. I think you need to be a little bit more in the middle of the pack rather than all the way at the back of the line. Yeah, you need to be super careful now, recall, because your HP is ridiculously low right now. I think overall the enemy has a better team. Like, mechanically, in all positions, they seem better. Decent ish heal. This is what I mean. Like, I think Unholy Grail is a mistake on this because you're not actually getting any use from Unholy right now. Whereas if you had a redemption, you would be able to heal way, way much. Way much? <laughs> way more in this sort of like team fight. Um, or if you had the silver who was doing better, there would be a lot more DPS extra on the silver here as well with an Ardent Sensor. Your positioning's all messed up here. It's like you've got two really low health targets, but like you're not with them at all. You gotta pursue this Fiora. She's just by herself. Um, you can't run in by yourself into that Fizz. I think you just need to heal up the Kasten and he can just pressure up the Fizz. Yeah, like you should have just healed the Kasten up here and then he would probably be more inclined to go onto the Fizz here since the Fizz has already used his ulti. And then Kas Kha'Zix would just kill. Because you can just spam heal them and then go back and recall quickly and come back in and get some more wards down. That's a fine ward. You got a control ward. You got two control wards. I don't know if you have any placed. No, I don't think so. There needs to be a control ward in this brush here or this brush here. Usually, I'd be more inclined to do this brush here because Baron's up, so it gives you like make sure it gives you guaranteed security of running through this alleyway here. 
um, in case they do Baron. Um, you haven't got your ulti yet. I don't think you can save this Chogar. This is good pathing here. If you go right into here, you can E. You can do well. You can basically do a nice E here and stop the uh, dilution following up. You can probably cover most of this. And if they do chase you hard, then you got barrier, and then you would have flashed away if they kept chasing. This should be an E here. This should be an E here. A little bit too down E. Use barrier here. Barrier, barrier, barrier. Good flash from the physicy. That kept you alive. See if it's dead. I think you need to stay in though. Have you got any spare wards? You should put a ward here. Ward, ward from over here to over here. Make sure you got some vision here. Um, but there's nothing you can do here. It's basically you got to reset the fight now. Kazus is going for a jog. You can't defend top by yourself. I know you're going there, but it's too risky. And your team's just kind of dead. Sivan needs to, you need to use your pings more. I don't think I've seen you use your pings at all. I would like to see you have more indication, like obviously that asking for assistance on this top side would be a lot nicer. Gotta keep chasing here. Pop down wards as you're going as well. Uh, there needs to be a ward here. As soon as you enter this brush here, there needs to be a ward here. But I mean, you gotta think about like if I die right now, um, can my team make sure they pick up a kill? Because there's no vision here at all. Say for example, Fizz was just like about to come in, in from the side here and you were to die here. You need to make sure you have vision placed for your team so that they can like clean up if needed. If that makes sense. Wow, well, well, Fizz did manage to go on you there. Um, the enemy got the Baron. You just have to go back. Yeah, you do finally put a ward down there though. But it's the kind of thing, like if you're chasing into an objective like that, just make sure you get your, even if you, you get one shot, at least then you've, you've, you've done like 20% of your job still anyway, because you've got the wards down in vision anyway. How many stacks is Cho on? Cho's only on five stacks as well. Two from champions, so he's not doing too sharp. I'm just trying to think who can carry this game. Siv is really far behind. The longer this game goes on though, the better off. So just don't force anything. Just keep as many like good wards as you can. And just try and help do your best and so that your team doesn't in so much. Like, the next towers they're going to push down is either mid or bot tier 2. It looks like they're going to go for bot tier 2. You should just heal up the Kha'Zix here so you can stay. You really need Kha'Zix to stay here. You should be healing people up here. Yeah, you should have just healed the Kha'Zix up here in the first place when he walked past you. You're going to have to leave this tower now. You should be spamming people to, to get back. I save on the chair. Oh, never mind. It's you're doing the right thing. They're heating up that chair on the flank there. Got to get ready to cut them off with an E. Your E's up. You've got to be in there a little bit more than this. The silence here would be awesome. Keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going. Don't back off. Yeah, it's just it's too far back. A lot of the time, you're not in the, able to do an E. I know you're squishy and you're afraid, but you just have to take risks. Like especially when you're when you're behind, you can't just like play super super passive all the time. Even on Soraka or like Janna, you have to get in in the. I know it means that you might die and your KDA might get screwed up a little bit more, but you're having very little involvement in some of these fights that are breaking up when your team could use that silence and stuff. Not much else you can do here. 
would like to see a ward in the middle of the lane here so you can see rotations around the top of the bot as well. Or you just put one down. Yeah, that's fine now. So they're either going to run it down for the mid in here, but they're going to give the bot tier 2. Um, you're going to have to just kind of like play it out and see what you feel. you got to stop using your E as harassment at this stage. It's just too long of a cooldown. If it's not up for a good team fight, then it's going to be really bad for you. Too far back right now. That's a really bad silence that you just did there, actually. Like, there would have been amazing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, you gotta stop with the random silences on Soraka. Like, that is super, super, super bad. It's so important to have the silence ready. Like, if you had it for that Shogaf knock up, imagine your silence there right now. And then Sona wouldn't be able to like flash away or use her ulti right there. That would be disgusting, really nice. And it's in the corridor as well. So Gray's walking past this as well. We'll just get science as well. Yeah, she gets she takes too long to kill her. I know you guys are like all really bad position. I mean that actually technically was your fault, actually. Fiora's gonna get it down middle though. You've lost mid in here. Jeez, that fight took that fight took way too long because of the lack of silence over on top of the Sona. Um, whether or not you would have still lost this in here is a different question, but like that fight dragged out for so long that nobody can defend here definitely anyway now. Get some wards down. You're gonna need to stop moving your wards over towards the Baron side as well. Let's watch in the minimap, see what happens. Not a lot going on right now. You got Baron coming up soon. Okay, looks like they're pushing in on the bot side. That's super risky. Unless you've got a ward here, you can't walk past here. If you got flash, you're gonna need to flash straight away. Or not. You're kind of lucky Fury didn't go for you there. I think you would have died, actually. Yeah, Fury had flash and stuff up as well. You've got okay vision on this side of the map, but honestly, it's, there's nothing at all in the Baron side of things. Right, where are you? I've lost complete track of where you are. Why did you go back? Wait, 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 wait. Yeah, you can't back here. You're not buying anything here. You need to stay. If you're worried about your HP when they're pushing in like this, you need to just ult your to yourself to heal yourself up. That would just have to be your first spell. You can't just ditch everyone here. You can't just ditch everyone here. Hopefully you can see the ult. That's a good ult catch though. Make sure you're paying attention to Cass's HP. Just heal the Sivir up here. Cass is just going to have to go back. Bit of a wasted redemption actually. Try and use it when the fire actually breaks out. No, there wasn't... Enough damage on you guys to to use a redemption. That's too far. You want to back off now. You want to start peeling off for backwards now. That's a okay silence. Just want to back out now. Spam back pings. You want to do a V spam on the pings. That's really nice from. Ch I was gonna say that was really nice from Cherry, but you managed to mess it up. You need to help out here. You're too far at the back again. I think you could have had a little bit more involvement in that, but the Lucian should have died anyway. Yeah, 
is slowly going to lose the game now. I mean, overall, your gameplay hasn't been too bad. I mean, having two deaths kind of shows that in terms of like, okay, you're not dying a lot. But in all honesty, you're not having any impact in this game at all either though. I mean, you could have done some really nice silences. I personally think that you could have saved Sivir. Alright, there's a big team fight here. I think this is the last fight of the game. I think like that, that level 2, you taking silence instead of a heal is kind of like what set this game up, to be honest. It'd be so dramatic, but it's not a laning phase that you should be losing that quickly, to be honest. Yeah, I mean, I just want to watch you get caught out again. I mean, that if summoners are wrong, you do have flash and barrier up. Because you, you're blind, I don't think you see the fish, yeah. Redemption comes out slightly too slow. It wouldn't have saved you though. Oh no, would it? The electric key proc? Maybe it would have saved you actually. Just temporarily though. That's a good stunner, I'll see. You guys weren't gonna win win this game. Okay, so it's it's kind of hard reviewing a Soraka or a Janna game or a Sona game because there isn't too much of the champions. Um, that's why you need to make the most of every like opportunity as possible, right? Um, like the. <laughs> Uh, <clears throat> so the level 2 heal was a really big thing. Like, if your AD carry is low like that, there's no reason to take science over the heal. There's just no point. You had two potions. You were super high HP. Uh, you could have easily healed us the server up a decent amount. And um, you would have survived the laning phase because the summer was going in. Uh, later in the game, you got to stop wasting your silence. Um, in lane, it's uh, generally, it's okay. Especially if you're ahead. To just, you know, use your science as a harassment. It does a decent amount of damage, stacks up your quest item. But I think once you get to 15, 20 minutes into the game and onwards, um, it's basically you need to use it to overlap other people's CC and ideally so that they can't use their summons to get away. Or you use it as a, like, in tunnel, in very tight corridors. If you have the the silence on the floor, it's it will prevent them from like doing good, decent follow ups, basically. Um, I've also felt like you're too scared a lot of the time. Um, I think your two death shows that you didn't really have any impact on any fight that happened that game. Um, so yeah, that's. Basically, it would have been nice to see you buy a control world one of those times when you got back into lane instead of a fairy charm as well. But other than that, I mean, it was it. There wasn't too much happening, really, for you to be able to intervene or make plays. Uh, but I think, I think there's enough mistakes there to say that you could have done better, for sure. Um, yeah, sure, your team running it, roaming around stupidly and missing out on some kill, easy kills and stuff by not using that autos or whatever. But I think, I think there's enough there that you can do on Soraka to get a better game on that champion, basically. Whether or not you would have won it or not, I don't know, but it it would have helped.